you have a lot to answer for. Because as far as I'm concerned, that psychotic fan that invaded the ring is your problem. And that psychotic fan attacked me. I'm injured. I have no feeling in my right arm. And I haven't for many days. And you're at fault, stunt man. You are to blame. All I was trying to do was protect you. I know how much those fans love seeing you perform. And I personally love seeing you perform. If you would have completed that stunt, you would have been injured for sure. But instead of you becoming injured, stunt man, now I'm injured. Now I can't complete my job. My job of protecting those fans, of protecting every member of that locker room. Stuntman, you are to blame. And for that, I will never forgive you. Stuntman, you have a lot to answer for. I'll give you time. You've got time, Stuntman. Welcome, welcome to another episode of Battlezone TV. The next few episodes are going to be live from the Heritage Days Festival in uh, Mayo. And this is uh, this is an incredible venue. That it is, Scrappy. It I is. am Axel Gears, joined by Scrappy. Thank you for joining us wherever you're watching us here. And it is a, a super shiny, bright place. So I'm And I'm super shiny, bright. This, so I'm going to be wearing that these you are. today. We're going to have some fun. Uh, we got an action-packed card for you, so I don't, I don't even know. Title matches. Uh, so it, much on it, the line. I mean, oh, wait. We got... Oh, my God. I don't even know where to go. I'm all over the place. Let's just get it. It's been a day. Let's make it an even better one. Newcomer to uh, IWE, uh, pun the psych. Pun the psych. I I'm kind of curious to see what uh, we, we got on the table here Is with this guy. Is that itself a pun? Uh, it, I mean, psych. Okay. Oh, I get it. Oh, dang. I I'm going to be full of dad jokes, I think, this time. Um, That's all right. No, the humor has to go somewhere, Scrappy. So we got uh, pun the psych, and here in the match, we got Rocky Shocker and Draven O'Shawn. They'll be going at it here in just a moment as well. And I talked about title matches, but it's hair versus mask, and that is way more on the line than title matches. But here is a three-way, and I'm kind of curious of what we got going on with this dance as uh, referee Randy Schilling joined us. Some of the people here may not know who you are, what you're about, or even why you're here, why you've made this appearance in front of them at Heritage Days. So maybe take this time to let the people know who you are and why you're here. Very simple. My name is Punk Psych. I come from Hermosa Beach, California. I've been wrestling for 26 years. 20 years ago, I blessed Northern Michigan with my presence. Oh, it's see. Been 20 years since I've been Comfort. here. And it hasn't been long enough. So let me tell you what, you people here, do you know the difference between Northern Michigan and Arkansas? 1,700 miles, that's about the only difference. This is Fish Kentucky. I'm supposed to be here for a wrestling match, and I'm in Green Acres. What is going on here? That's fine. You know what, we've got, we've got guys in the back with Franken buckets, we've got hobbits, we've got every kind of likeness. Oh, come on. Oh, 
one is not making friends here in Mayo, Michigan. He surely isn't. It would have took me another 20 years to come back to Northern Michigan. I'm here for one. Oh, good, good chance. Good job, guys. So, at the end of the day, I'm here to do one thing and one thing only, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not here to win. I'm here to hurt people. You'll find out soon enough. Keep talking out there and you'll find out too. So, I have a mystery opponent tonight. So, let's see who they're going to bring out to fight me. Clinton's let's mouth may yet get him hurt. in trouble just yet. He doesn't have just one or two competitors to deal with here. He may have an entire Heritage Day's worth of IWB Country fans waiting to see what's going on. I believe I recognize this face approaching the ring. Well, I'll be if this is not the creator wrestler. What, well, what has he got on this time? What has he got on this time? Is that, is that cardboard? No, he has a few unlockables from the customization menu. It, it, I'm, I'm thoroughly disturbed. As a, as a proud backer of J-Dub belts, I cannot get behind that thing. Don't but focus so much on the belt. That's I, like that's like focusing so much on like the rims. Like you have an entire automobile you got to take care of. Don't just focus on the rims. Don't just focus on the belt. He's more than just his belt. I'm sure. Uh, rock paper scissors is all you have to go on. Are you kidding me? I also see a lot more going on with him than just that. Okay. I mean, he changed um, his tights. I think. So, they look like kid pajamas. As the IWE Rock Paper Scissors champion. Jeez, here we go with this. Do you plan to defend your title here tonight against Pun the Psych? That's his. Oh, now it makes. Ladies and gentlemen of Mayo, Michigan, how you doing tonight? As your favorite creator wrestler, I am most definitely. Defending this tonight against who are you? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I already forgot it. Oh no! Look at that disrespect. Well, Pun was, was not making any efforts to make friends in the locker room. I can attest to this. Well then. And his tice strike me as a bit more of a. Uh... But there are not just two competitors in this match. The following contest is scheduled for. Oh. I apologize if I have been missing. And it seems yeah, it is for the IWE Rock Paper Scissors Championship. I was about to say we got some bad notes here or something. We're on the lock track. A rock paper scissors match. Yeah, that's what. Officiating it is. this contest, Lord Randolph Schilling. <laughs> Introducing first from Hermosa Beach, California. Pun the psych! Okay, here we go. Here's my notes. I finally got them. Sorry about this, guys. There Somebody you go. talking in your ear? Yeah, so, well, no, they were blowing around in the wind because it's, it's crazy out windy here. out here in Mayo today. Yeah, so And his go. opponent so at seven our, feet tall. This is what we got going on. And weighing in at 500 pounds, your Here's IWE Rock, Paper, Scissors champion, Create a Wrestler! This was the championship that I had in my notes that blew away. And that's why everything got screwed up. So I apologize for that. And the fans are clearly behind Creator Wrestler. Oh, here we go with this again. is a perfect self-insert. I just, I, I can't do this anymore. Why are we doing just this? Just watch the match. It's not a match. Just enjoy it. Oh my God, who booked this? Dana White? It appears Creator Wrestler. Did he win? I can't even watch it. This is crazy. He's being named the winner. Oh, ring the bell, and I'm being told.
They got the wrestling match now underway. And Pun I'm just, has I'm, utterly destroyed. I, I am I'm confused to no end. I don't know. Okay. The winner of this match, Pun the Psych. Pun the Psych won the wrestling match. And but I, creative wrestler won the rock paper scissors aspect. Good job. Good job, again, creator wrestler. Again, creator wrestler celebrating after a, a clear defeat. He retained his Rock, Paper, Scissors championship. Oh, That seems uh -oh. to be his uh, highest priority okay. here. Oh, okay. If that's what you call talent, you've got to be kidding me, Mishitaki. I, ooh. So how about you send somebody else back and let's try this over again. Hopefully, I can hurt this one too. Pun asking for another opponent. Well, and he's gonna get one. If you guys have not seen this young man, you have not been paying attention to a Battle Zone TV. You're absolutely Dave right, Scrappy. Weston, uh, a young phenom here in IWE. And uh, Pun the Psych, I love his attitude, I love his moxie, uh, but he's, I don't know if he knows what he's dealing with. This, this is a, a big step up in competition from Create a Wrestler. And now that the wind has died down, I've got my notes, and we actually know what the flip is going on here, and we're not playing rock, paper, scissors anymore, this is the type of action I like to see out of IWE. Can I argue with you there, Scrappy? Weston has been proven to be impactful in every showing he has provided us. It and the downside to none of us really knowing much about Pun the Psych here is that he may not know what he's got his hands with when it comes to Weston here. Uh, now, absolutely. Now, now, Pun the Psych, I mean, if he's going to play mind games and get in the head of young Weston, then he might just... And of course, he's got the experience advantage, so uh, this should be a good matchup. But yes, Young Weston is uh, nothing to shake a stick at. Absolutely not. People would say. Uh, collar and elbow. Tie up in the middle of the ring, absolutely right. And do a stiff headlock. Weston may be in some early trouble. Uh, Weston's going to leave here with a little cauliflower here, the way things are going. At the Shows the psych off. Drop kick, middle of the ring. And Pun, back up to his feet, angry. He's another drop kick. Weston sidesteps the incoming, and it's a third drop kick to what? Pun the Psych, who rolls out of the ring, overwhelmed it seems. Weston in solid control. Well, this is a good time to regroup. I mean, he did have another match. Now, granted, it was just a, 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 a creative Pun, a wrestler match, Pun but. Pun may be walking away here. That is not a way to have a first impression here at IWE by walking away. So you uh, might want to get back in there and handle it. And there's a shot to the gut from sliding, Weston. Yeah, sliding basement slide, baseball slide, excuse me. Oh, but Weston caught on the outside. Oh. Driven spine first into the pole and then right onto the apron. The power and experience of uh, Psych come into play there and he's got the young Weston rolling. And I would expect that he's got with the power advantage, experience advantage. I would expect this to be a, a, a tough one for Weston, though we've, we've seen him come away with victories from the uh, the bigger guys in the past. I'll give you power advantage probably, given this here. This definitely looks like power advantage here. Experience, I have yet to see. Well, because if I, because what I've seen from watching Weston's matches is that if you're experienced, you don't let up on the guy and you don't take him easily. Weston will fight back. We will come back. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. As we sh we're starting to see right here. Yeah, whenever you think of Dave Weston, you can't uh, deny that. I mean, the kid's got no quit in his, uh, yeah, his, uh, his resilience is unmeasured. Oh, nasty chop. Weston tied Love up him. in the ropes. Love him. You slow this thing down. It's probably in Pun's best interest to slow this thing down and just kind of work this kid over. 
And yeah, with the clear it. size advantage, Weston's going to be the one trying to play the speed game to outmaneuver his opponent. Whereas, you're absolutely right. Thus, it benefits Pun the psych here to keep things to a slow pace, keep it in his own control. Got Weston tied up in the corner. He strikes in the midsection. Whips him all the way across the opposite corner of this entire building, shaking. Man. And body Weston, avalanche on the corner. Weston showing the effects of the uh, the body crushing in the corner. Now Pun slowly picking the exact spot of the body he wants to wrap his arm around. That's that standing guillotine, and that can put out any action. Oh, oh and the gator roll to go yes, with indeed. it. Yes, indeed. Take him back to the middle of the ring. See, that's the, some of the experience. Oh, bad placement in the ring there, but that's... That's right, Weston's got the ropes there. That's not something you see every day here in IWE, that uh, that that front, uh, that standing guillotine into that gator roll. No. I, I like that. I like that from uh, Mr. Not many opponents Sa probably used to having that happening. But unfortunately, left Weston a little too close to the ropes. No. Fancy footwork. Oh! oh. Countered into a giant clothesline. Yeah, and you thought the comeback was coming. Psych. Two count. Oh, the Weston gets the shoulder up before the three. I thought that was three. I'm not going to lie. I thought that was three. Schilling confirms that was a two. This match continues. Well, and once again to Dave Weston's uh, uh, resilience. I mean, that was, that was yeah, uh, most guys ain't getting up. Oh, oh. Uh, where did that come from? A little adrenaline so rush from Weston. Oh, that step up. up. Wow. Oh, man. I'm not even a huge fan of this kid, and that was a the great move. The is down in the ring. Oh, no, you got it. to go up second rope. Boom, saw, connects. And that could be and it right the there. One, two, three. Thanks for coming, Pun Psych. The winner of this match, David Weston. What a win for the little man. What a debut for Pun the Psych. Thanks for coming. Hey, I, I, I can't, I'm not going to take anything away from the guy. After an annoying uh, match of a rock, paper, scissors, he was able to beat, create a wrestler, and then still had to have another match. Well, he didn't have to have it. I guess he called him out. He asked for another match. But I will say, uh, I'll give him some, uh, some brownie points for moxie and guts because he wasn't afraid to call Young Weston out even though it led to... Uh, his downfall. Oh, look at this. Oh, maybe a possible we got show a, of respect here from Sight. Possible show of respect. Oh no. oh, no. No. Come on. Oh, and he hits Weston with a knee. And what do we got out here? We got a oh, no. loser is what we got. Whoa. Suplex out of the. Out of the boards. And we're at a gazebo in the middle of a fairgrounds. And that is some nasty planks. There is no padding outside of this ring. Oh, it my It is unprotected gosh. wood. I mean, it's well kept, but I mean, otherwise. Wow. This is not what is intended to be happening on this wood. Wow. Well, uh, that's how you make an impression here in your first uh, at bat, so to speak, in IWE. I I'm telling you, Axel, you come in and you take one out, and then hey, if you lose, you make a. You make a. Uh, you make, make an, an impact of your own. Yeah, you got to sometimes. Putting the slice, certainly making an impact here at David Weston's expense. But David Weston gets the win. Mark that in the books and don't forget it. Dave Weston, uh, a little uh, worse for wear after that. I don't think that that story's done there for some reason. I think I don't think Dave Weston's going to sit here and, and stand for that. So we'll see I what wouldn't either if I was Dave Weston. I, I mean, to be honest with you. All right, man, we've got a huge main event. I don't know what you guys are thinking, but I am super stoked about this event. This is like one of the like once in a lifetime things sometimes, right? Once in a career. Sure. Mask versus hair. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Oh. Somebody's losing something. Oh my.
Rocky Shocker and Draven O'Shawns coming to a head at long last. There's, there's nothing that I wouldn't give Scrammy to see this pipsqueak put in his place. Draven O'Shawns has been nothing but a thorn in so many... Where is he going? Draven O'Shawns is sending Dan Tanner to the ring. Draven just standing up there by the building. Apparently in no hurry to get to this ring. What do we got going on here? Oh, he's just glaring. It's, it's all mind games, baby. It's all mind games. What are you doing, Draven? Really in no hurry. Well, I, I mean, we got to keep this show rolling, right? I, 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 yes. I, 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 Draven has to come to the ring if he wants to be part of this match in any way. He may lose by default if he doesn't. But here it comes. We got Rocky Shocker. Rocky Shocker. Oh, no. I see now. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, and he took him down. Yeah, behind. That was nasty. And just laying into him. This match has not begun yet. And he and Draven O'Shawns is not playing. I love it. I love it. I told you he was playing mind games. He's cerebral. He's smart. And this is how you handle business. This is underhanded. Whatever gives you the advantage. What do you mean underhanded? It's flipping brilliant. It's absolutely this is brilliant. All because he wants to unmask his opponent here. Draven O'Shawns absolutely proves the mental advantage he has over almost every single opponent. Oh, oh my goodness! He's just taking down the signage and lighting here wow. to our entranceway as uh, as Draven O'Shawns is not playing. This match hasn't even started yet, guys. And no, uh, I imagine Rocky referee Dan Tanner has no really issue with this whatsoever and now that both are in the ring he's happy to call for the bell and rocky doesn't care if rocky shocker is in any condition to compete and rocky shocker here with a, a grass stain in his face from a tackle whoa what do we got here john campbell john campbell oh whoa give me the mic uh-oh campbell is not happy he's demanding a mic hey you want to attack people from behind i have word from president frankie bucket right now you want to cheat, and we know you like to cheat. Since you're back from suspension, I have your new contract right here. If you cheat just one time tonight, you're fired. Wow. Wow. Dan what a Tanner. huge pipe bomb See, from that's John Campbell, the creature feature laying it down the law. John from Frank, Campbell. From, from President Frankenbucket, let me, excuse me. Well, it, well, I was about to say John Campbell delivering the message from Frankenbucket, which messes yes. with me all on a whole nother level. But there we go. Uh, you know, basically handcuffing Tanner here. And now Dan Tanner has to call it down the middle or lose his job. And Into the pin. One, two. Rocky Shocker is not done yet. The jump start was not enough. Rocky Shocker is not down and out. And uh, Tanner and uh, and Draven there having a little conversation already about the counts. Um, 
But Rocky Shocker trying to kind of wow. come out of it. Here's a Shocker. Oh. Very much, still very much dazed. He got but that. Managed to find a drop kick into the corner. Draven. Oh, he hit him right in the heart there. His chest. The Draven. Yeah. Was, he tried to suck it in there. One, two. Draven there. Yeah, no idea what a breath of fresh air it is to see Dan Tanner counting normal counts on both opponents. Yes! Well, well, I can sleep tonight. Well, we know how this stuff goes. It's going to take a little bit more than that to get the emulator to the ground. That was definitely, or, like, from my vantage point, a blatant oh. thumb to the eye, a Rocky Shocker. Dan Tanner now goes down to count the pin. Rocky Shocker still gets the shoulder up. This has been one heated rivalry here in IWE, and you can just tell by the intensity of these two guys, the way they're they're getting after it here, especially Draven O'Shawns. He's just... And, uh, you know, when you culminate into uh, something like a match like this, you know it's serious. Rocky trying to fight his way out of this sleeper hold. And that's how you do it. Cut him off. Down by his hair. Got to cut him off at the knees. Got to. You got to make sure that uh, he doesn't get that momentum before it gets rolling, or you're in trouble. Draven O'Shawn's maybe a tad overconfident here. Sees no reason to hurry. Why? He's gonna pick his opponent apart. Yeah, absolutely. And it, and, and part of this is is the uh, is the mind games, like we talked about. I nice see Dan Tanner finally having to enforce the rules on Draven. Dan Tanner finally recognizes the gravity of the situation. He has to be a fair, impartial ref, finally. Well, and Draven can't let that get in his own head, right? He's got to exactly right. keep his eyes on the prize because Rocky Shocker is, uh, you know, no joke here. Let's be real. And coming, oh, caught oh. with the spear. Both men Man. down. Emulators just put all Into the pin now. Two. Rocky Shocker still able to kick out. I mean, Rocky Shocker is just just getting crushed from all sides. Emulators been all over him since, obviously, before the opening bell. The even. dominant mind is more frazzled now than I have ever seen him. Rolling Shocker over now. And what's he going for? He's just trying to take the mask off. He's just trying to straight up take the mask off. That is not the stipulation. You don't win by removing the mask. Dragging Rocky over. Oh, and he's going trying back with that mask ball. again. I think he's trying to. Three, four, off the ropes. Off the ropes. Off the ropes. One, two. And Tanner. Tr still trying to enforce rules now, now that he has to again. Oh, look at this. This is brilliant. Is, is he tying Shocker I, I, you know to what? the rope? I love it. He tied his mask to the rope. Either unmask or stay there and get your... Now it's now it's up to Dan Tanner. Get your blank What does Dan Tanner do? So you can either take the mask off. Does he or, let this be? Or you can just take this, the, the beating. Well, what's he going to do? Well, look at this. Emulator. This isn't going to help Draven win. Emulator jaw. He, he, he just took the, took the mask off. He took the mask off. I can't believe he's it. He's unmasked. And look at the look at Draven's face. He can't believe what he's seeing. Oh, my goodness. Look at the look on his face. I think it tells it all. And I can't even see Rocky Shocker's face from our van vantage point. We can't even. All we got is just the back of his head. Blonde oh, hair is all I got. You can see him now. He's and there it is. Shots. Rocky Shocker unmasked. And he is he is mad now. I don't even think it matters anymore, right? Oh, oh side the step. sidesteps the incoming. And, and, and unmasked and, Rocky Shocker now driven into oh. the corner post. And that sidestep and kind of pushing him down on that rope. Oh right my goodness. Oh man, that's nasty. Dragging him away from the oh, corner. Oh wow. I, I mean, holy cow. I was saying. He's not tapping out, but he's already taken off his mask. I, he no longer has anything to lose. The nasty side of Draven O'Shawn's is just amazing to me. And Rocky, he better uh, look at him holding on for dear life. As the crowd cheers. Cheers him on, says don't, don't tap. tap. And I'm with them, don't tap, Rocky. 
Left all around that ankle though. Draven O'Shawns is not leaving Rocky Shocker very far to go. And he is just so vicious the way he's that wrenching ankle on that. Like, I mean, I don't know. Then, and if it does, that could be absolutely be the end of Rocky's career. Rocky needs to live to fight another day. And the pain. Rocky may have passed out the from pain. the pain. Two. Three. That's it. Rocky wow. passed out from the pain. I can't wow. We just. Saw. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Tanner has stopped this match. Therefore, your winner, Draven Oceans! Wow. But that's that vicious side. I'm telling you, the vicious side of Draven Oceans. He just legitimately made him pass out from the pain. And he was, and, it, and I'm going to give it to Rocky Shocker, man, because the way he was laying in that ankle and, and, and reaping on that, that was a nasty, Nasty. What Draven want to say uh, now? Hold. Now, I don't know if you can hear me in there. Oh, Jesus. But that was just about one of the most disgusting things that I've ever seen from an IWE superstar. Going to take a nap instead of admitting that I'm the better man. Understand this, Nate. Mercy is for the sick and the weak, and I am neither. This is is still not over. Dang. Well, I guess we didn't have to worry about a hair versus mask since uh, Rocky Shocker unmasked himself. Uh, did you notice the emulator referencing his, his real name? How does he know that? The emulator yeah, freaks me out, man. I'm just saying, like, like the way he does I things. don't have all the answers yet. I've only got ideas. I but if that is somebody that he's seen before, maybe that's somebody we've seen before. And the the fans here, the IWE faithful out here in uh, Mayo, Michigan, clearly behind uh, clearly behind Rocky Shocker. And what's this mean for Rocky Shocker going forward? I honestly couldn't tell you, but look at this though. Rocky Shocker up and walking out under his own power. What a sight, an emotional sight. And being handed back the mask that he rocked under for so long. So, I, you know, this is, this is a wild, you know what? I say this every time. It's a crazy, wild, action-packed episode of Battlezone TV, and nothing was different. From my show notes getting blown down here to the bright sun in our eyes to the uh, unmasking of Rocky Shocker. You heard that right. Rocky Shocker unmasked. And I, I can't believe it. I can't. I just. I can't believe what I saw. And uh, that's not a shot at uh, Rocky's face. Although maybe I'll make those jokes later. We'll see. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, uh, another amazing main event here on Battlezone TV, Axel, and holy cow, next episode is off the hook. We got an episode of The Crow's Nest. Uh, John Campbell will be here. He's we look forward to all the action that you're going to have, and we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for joining us wherever it is that you find IDW Battlezone TV. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Have a good night.